Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Gemini for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. Is it a good idea to reach out? So these are the Gemini individuals that are currently in no contact with somebody. We're going to take a look and see if it's a good idea for you to reach out and what will happen if you did reach out to this individual. Even though this is love focused, uh, this could be with anybody, okay? Um, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want, okay? Um, keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Gemini people not tapping into one specific person's uh, energies um, in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so um, Gemini, tell me about Gemini here. The person that Gemini is in no contact with, is it a good idea for Gemini to reach out to the person that they are currently in no contact with? For November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Okay. We'll take that. We've got the Hermit here, Virgo energy. I feel like this person doesn't want to be disturbed. Whoever this is, Virgo energy uh, with the Hermit, they're definitely doing some sort of soul searching here, uh, Gemini, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. We have the lovers. We have someone here that's distancing themselves from love, distancing themselves from you and this relationship here. You and this person definitely do have a soulmate connection here, but I feel like this person's, like I said, doing some introspecting and self-reflecting here. I'm not quite sure what happened here between you and this person, but we'll, we'll see uh, what we have here. King of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Yeah. Um, I just feel like this person wants to be on their own or be by themselves here. It seems like whoever this is, you could be dealing with another Gemini here with the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So what I'm getting here is that this person wants to be on their own. It seems like this person is searching for some self-love of their own here. So whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual. When they were with you, they had a hard time giving and receiving love. And I feel like it, 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 it stems from their own self-worth here, their own self-love. And I feel like this person is working on that, uh, uh, Gemini. Okay, maybe you're working on that yourself too. Tell me more. We have the hangman, Piscean energy, and the king of pentacles here. I don't know where you fit in this, Gemini, but it just seems like we have someone here that's waiting for someone to come back. Or this could be an indication that someone here is definitely seeking some sort of enlightenment here. Okay? Someone is, yeah, someone is healing. Okay? Um, so we have the star card, Aquarius energy, uh, with the uh, a hermit here. Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Tell me about this lovers. Okay, the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about this King of Swords. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands here. I mean, we have someone here that could be healing their inner child, okay? Um, whoever this is, I feel like this person's definitely, you know, gaining a lot of self-confidence about themselves here because I feel like this person lacked a lot of self-confidence here. Um, I, I do feel like this person's hung up on you here, okay, with the hangman and the six of cups. But it just seems like this person's doing a lot of inner work here. I, I do feel like at some point that this person does want to come back towards you. I mean, is it, good, is it a good, a good idea to reach out to this person right now? I don't think so, because I feel like this person this person's in the thick of working on themselves here, okay? And you definitely don't want to disrupt their process because sometimes, you know, you know, if you want them back, or that you want them to come back, you know, that might backfire if you prematurely work out, uh, reach out to them. We have the King of Pentacles here and the Empress. We have someone here that could be working out mommy and daddy issues here too, or that this person is seeing you as an Empress here, Gemini, okay? This person sees, you know, sees you in very, very, very high regard. 
okay? Um, you might have children with this individual or that you guys might have talked about having children with this individual here, but it just seems like this person right now is kind of taking some time out to themselves. Um, what will happen if Gemini reached out to the person that they are in no contact with for November 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. What will happen if Gemini reached out to the person that they are in no contact with? For November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Let's see. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the King to Queen of Swords. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles here and the Death card. We have the Knight of Swords here and the Three of Wands. I mean, if they reach out to you, or that if you reach out to them, you know, I feel like you really haven't dealt with the pain yet that this person has caused you. And I feel like all that pain is going to start rushing back. Okay? We have the Three of Pentacles and the Death card. What I'm getting here is that I feel like this is more on your end. If you did reach out to this person, I feel like you might feel like it's going to be a big mistake. Because I feel like with the Death card and the Three of Pentacles, you don't want to work things out with this individual. Yeah, you want to move forward. You want to move forward towards your future here. I think you might push this relationship away. Here's here's what I'm getting here. Uh, I'm getting two stories here. Some of you guys might push this away, and I feel like some of you guys might fight for this. Okay, so it really it's really up to your discernment here uh, of uh, like what you guys want, what you guys decide here. Because at the end of the day, you have free will here. Okay, tell me about the Ten of Swords. You have the Strength card, Leo energy, the Queen of Swords here, and the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like all the pain that you've experienced with this individual, I feel like it's gonna hit you pretty hard here. Leo energy with the Strength card, Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? We have the Five of Wands and the Death card, Ace of Cups. I, I feel like you're gonna realize it's a mistake to reach out to this individual because I feel like I feel like you're gonna realize that you guys are not on the same page. And I feel like you're gonna have this realization that even though you have love for this individual, you're you're not in love with this individual. So your feelings towards a, this person with the death card and ace of cups has changed. Yeah. The knight of swords here and the ten of wands, the three of wands here and the page of pentacles. So I feel like you're going to let this go, release it, and go off and have a new beginning here. Some of you guys might be in the process of, you know, maybe accepting a new job that's at a distance from this individual here, okay? So I feel like you're going to, I feel like, it, I feel like some of you guys might reach out to this individual, or that if this person reached out to you, you're going to have a conversation with this individual, and I feel like, you know, you're going to have a realization here that it was a mistake, yeah, that you don't really truly care. Uh, yeah, you, your your feelings towards this person has changed. So I feel like this is more so. This is you pushing away this relationship here and going off to heal. All right. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.